Hey everyone, Algy here, and today I'm going to play a game called 8-Bit Boy. Um, I'd never heard of this before, but I happened upon a, a key of it, so uh, I figured I'd play it out and watch the trailer. It looks very reminiscent of classic uh, NES platformers, like Mario Brothers and all that, so um, let's see, let's look to the manual. Um, up, climbing, duck. Ah, I'll figure it out. Alright. That's 8 Bit Boy. Oh. Hopefully you saw him. Alright. So here we go. Ooh. Auto saves after completing a level, and you have more time for exploring this mode. Okay. We'll try normal. I'm no hero here. I'm... Oh no, he's sad. What's wrong, 8 Bit Boy? Life was not what he expected. He wasn't disappointed with life per se, but he certainly was disappointed in himself. Oh, this is tragic. When was the last time he was truly happy? When was the last time he woke up in the morning and thought to himself, This is going to be a good day. Finally, passing his exams one year ago, just to be faced with unemployment, didn't help either. This was not what he had expected at all. At the age of 32... He felt that he had accomplished very little. Half-finished education, courses, and the odd jobs in between weren't something to be proud of, he thought. Certainly wasn't how he imagined his life would be when he was a kid 20 years ago. It all seemed so long ago, like in another lifetime. Shwa, 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 shwa. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This <laughs> is a long story. He tried to remember how life was back then, back when he used to play games all day long on his trusted console. He had gotten it for his 10th birthday. And oh, what a joy it was. He simply loved the thing and dreamed about growing up and making games himself one day. It all seems so silly now, knowing you have to grow up and take responsibility. He wondered if he still had it in the basement. Would it even work after all these years? He felt an urge to go look in the basement right away. He almost felt excited about finding it and couldn't even remember the last time he felt that way about anything. Aww. That's so sweet. Oh my god, the story. He went to the dark basement. The air was cold, thick, and moist. It made him a bit nauseous and lightheaded. What's going on in his basement? He looked through what seemed like an endless number of moving boxes, crates, and bags. But finally he found what he was looking for, in the far and darkest corner of the room. The old 8-bit console. So many good memories. Just thinking about it. Just thinking about him. Wait. Oh, just thinking about filling him with bittersweet nostalgia. I don't know what happened with me there. He looked through some of the old games. Most of them were a little fuzzy around the label. And some even had mold on them. Oh, dude, you shouldn't... That's bad. Suddenly, he was struck with fear, looking at the last game cartridge in the pile. Okay. It seemed completely new and shiny. It even had that harsh chemical smell to it that new plastic usually has, which I love that smell. No dents or scratches like all the other games, but what filled him with fear was the empty label on the top of the cartridge. It had the print pattern of the other cartridges, but it was missing the title, as if it was just waiting for someone to fill it in. He couldn't explain why this filled him with pure eeriness, it just did. A tiny and very subtle voice inside him whispered a chanting, Play it. Play it over and over again, like an echo from beyond. Like he had no saying in this, he started ringing up the console to his own old color TV to try the uncanny cartridge. Somehow, this was what he had to do. Somehow, this was his fate or destiny. Uncanny cartridge. I kind of want to name a band that. Alright. After setting up the console on an old dusty office desk down in the basement, he plugged in the strange-looking cartridge. The cartridge didn't need the usual push to go all the way down into the slot. It felt more like it was pulled right in, like two magnets just before touching each other. Just before flipping the wall switch, he hesitated just long enough to realize that this was a very bad idea, a very bad idea indeed. Then he flipped the switch. He's, he's awful hesitant. For no reason. I mean, I guess obviously something does happen. Oh, there we go. But, uh, I don't know. I think if I found an unmarked cartridge in my basement, 
I wouldn't be all like, oh my god, I'm so freaked out, I'm not gonna play this. Oh shit. We've gone 8-bit. I like the music. Hey, there was an angel. Oh, I look so happy. Shouldn't now be when I'm freaking the fuck out? Learning tutorial. Nice. Jumping World 1. Press. Okay. Um, you can adjust the jump height by pressing jump longer. Oh, yeah. Cool. Feels kind of slippery. I mean, the controls definitely aren't as ooh, aren't as tight as uh, you know Super Mario Brothers. I can't even get up here. I guess I'll get used to it though. Ooh. What was that A shield? All right. I really like the music. Um. Jump up from beneath the tile marks. I just did that. Pick up the berry to gain shooting. Nice. Oh, it's so slippery. Okay. Uh, what button? Okay. Shooting World 1. Press B. Oh, I didn't tell me it. Okay. Uh, to shoot. Oh, I see. I hit this guy. Maybe if I didn't suck so bad. There we go. Oh, we didn't kill him. Yeah. Um, I suck at this kind of thing. I don't know how to. Judge trajectory. Can't talk today. Cool. Speed world. <laughs> um. Wait, what? To to run or jump longer? Didn't I do it? Or am I just running? There we go. Nice. Tutorial completed. I know all I need to know. Okay, so, alright, world one, I guess, right? Now, I really like the, the, the chiptune soundtrack. Oh, I keep forgetting which button it is. I'm not used to three buttons in my classic platformers. Are you dead? Okay. So, yeah. Looks pretty okay. Does that do something else? Ooh! It's like a rapid shot. Is there a reason to break all these blocks? I saw there was gold in one. Oh, I could have killed him just once. I just. Alright. Oh, ooh! Now it did look like from the trailer there are a lot of hidden hidden rooms. I keep hitting the wrong button and stuff like that. So that'll be exciting to explore. <laughs> Very reminiscent of Mario Brothers. Can I jump on things? Hell yeah, I can. Oh, oh god, I pissed him off. Alright. So with this one, can I still... Okay, it's, it's just, it just acts a little bit different. I wonder if there's extra lives with so many coins or how that works. I found a uh, beanstalk? Nice. Yeah, he, 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 he's a little slippery, the way he controls. But I guess that's probably something that I'll just get used to um, the more I play it. Wait, what's over there? How do I get over there?
Oh shit, so there's all kinds of upgrades to weaponry. Okay. Pissed off bird! Okay. Can I go through here? Yes, I. <gasps> I ran right into the water. Oh no! I died on the first world. Twice. What am I doing here? I didn't notice that the first time. Okay. Oh, I don't have my chute. Okay. Is there something to do? Okay. Nice. Very cool. Alright. I like this. So far. It has yet to disappoint me. Because, you know... I've been really into retro gaming lately. Anyway, playing a lot of the old... Like, I just um, recently... For the... Oh, I don't know where I'm jumping. Arr! The first time in my life... Um, played and beat Super Mario Land. I, For whatever reason, I didn't have Super kid and uh it's it's uh okay so i just lose it's it's definitely you know not a great i mean it, it it's a it's a really good game it's definitely not amongst my favorite mario games just because it, i don't know the weird settings and stuff really it just doesn't really feel like a, a Mario game, but it's a good game. It's just, it just, I don't know, feels different. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I just lost the whole fucking game. I got greedy. Okay. I can't believe, okay. We're gonna, do, I'm gonna do it this time. Death birds. Oh, where was it? Alright. I don't really know what the shield does. Alright. Let's go back over here. Come here, birdie. Gimme, yeah, alright. Oh, okay, different kind of snake. Alright. Oh my god. If I die again, I'm just. I quit life. What about you guys? Uh, what's your favorite classic platformer? Is it a Mario? I mean, personally, my favorite classic platformer of all time is Super Mario Bros. 3, which I know is pretty um, cliche. I died here last time. But I can't help it. It's a great game. But uh, definitely, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Leave me a comment telling me, um, what's your favorite, oh, I'm not going to die again, I'm not even going to worry about that, <laughs> what your favorite, uh, classic platformer is. Yeah. Oh, I died here before, too. He's just so slippery, I can't, it's hard to gauge, oh, I don't care, fuck it. Fuck that coin. I feel like I should be checking every nook and cranny. Oh, no, no, I wanted to go up. I wanted to go up. That sucks. I didn't realize there was blocks up there. 
All right. I'll do another level so you guys can laugh at me. I don't know, I feel like I should just be checking everything. Got pretty powerful balls. Are they, are they, I guess they're grapes, huh? Okay. Whoa! Can I, can I kill that guy? The hell is he? <laughs> Gasp! I fell. Alright. Uh. Uh. Alright. I lost my shot. Wait a second. Why did I forget about this? A shield? Supposed to give me a weapon. Oh, he's just so slippery. Controls. It's uh, just something I have to get used to, I guess. Cause like he he retains momentum. Uh, got a sec. I got a new high score for my shitty playing. So does it let me start from? Okay. Do 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 Give me a weapon. Yeah, that's gonna be the most challenging part for me is um mastering the way he controls. I got an extra life. Oh, is that like the star? The the star in Mario. I'm sure I didn't have to clarify that, but I realized that I hadn't. I don't know. I, I I've got things. Can I run into you? Yeah. I'm not gonna fall for it this time. Oh, how do I get up there? trying to press X well uh, I'm not gonna make it damn it Ugh, fine <laughs> very cool all right so yeah I'm enjoying this like I said, and it, it, it's hard for me to describe exactly what I mean about how he controls. You, you have to play it to, to, to really understand, but... I mean, I'm sure you can just see me kind of slipping around. It's kind of like I'm walking on ice. But uh, besides that, it's uh, really cool. A lot of fun. Um, it really does have that old-school... NES platform or Master System platform feel. Oh, shoot. Ugh. If I could just control him. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to call the video. Oh, there. Ugh. So I don't embarrass myself too much. I can't. Did I fuck myself by breaking that block? Because I'm trying to run. I am so bad at this. Alright. Why isn't it working? X. Oh. Oh, well, that will help. Uh. 
Uh oh. Such a dumbass. Uh, I keep thinking X is... Shoot. But anyway. I was trying to end this video a couple minutes ago. Um, it's definitely... Um, it's definitely a cool little game. And uh, it's pretty cheap. I think it's $4 on Steam. Probably goes on sale every once in a while. But um, yeah. Uh, if it looks like something that would pique your interest, I recommend you check it out. I'm definitely going to play more. Um, I can't remember how many levels it said it had, but it seemed like it was a good bit. So um, I'm pretty excited to see how they do the boss battles. If it's like a three hit old school kind of thing or... Or what happens but uh all right guys hope you enjoyed the video uh this is algae and uh, i'll see you guys next time